Hey everyone, this is VSG Barbie. I had to do um, another video really quick. Oh my God, guess what? I just got off the phone with a lot of me and they told me, um, like I said, I'm 360 pounds. I'm 20 years old. I'm 5'2". So yeah, I'm a high risk patient. Um, I will only have to pay, I think like 350 um, extra fee because of that. But most likely, she said my surgery will only cost me like fifty four hundred dollars. Wow! Oh my gosh! Like I'm so excited. Or, uh, or you know, I have thirty five hundred now on me. So, well, care credit. It's not exactly on me but it's on the way i don't know if they, they said they don't use care credit so unless care credit cuts me a check so i'm gonna have to look into that um but 5400 that's amazing like and she told me starting now like right now let me see what's today it is january 19th starting right now when i fill out all the paperwork she told me um, I need to just get my passport and everything that takes like, I think she said two to two to three weeks or whatever, get my passport, get all that taken care of. Um, and basically I'm on a roll. She said that I will have surgery next month. Did you say next month, girl? Okay, for someone in the States that told me I could have surgery in June and I got excited and they're telling me I can have surgery next month. What is this? January? March? Girl. I about fell off my bed. Like, I almost fell off the bed and rolled out the house. Oh, my gosh, like that, that was like the best news I ever had. I ain't had in, in a long time, you know, after someone just like shot my dreams down and somebody just allowed me lift me up, child. So basically she said that as long as I get my passport and get all that taken care of now, um, get that squared away, send her back the paperwork. My grandmother's supposed to be calling me back, um, in the next, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes. Um, I'm so excited that, and, and, oh, I have to go on the liquid diet for like four weeks, a pre-op diet slash liquid diet for like four weeks. So, and I'm already kind of doing that, you know, yeah, I was kind of slipping up, but I'm basically doing it now. So I'm excited. Like I'm going to show you something. These are some snacks that I have. I don't know if you'll be able to see them. Um, I don't think you'll be able to see the snacks. Let me get up and show you. I have bought some snacks for my dorm room. I keep most of my snacks. Like, let's see if you can see that. I keep most of my snacks. And then I have some more over here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's see. Those are snacks. And then I have some like snacks down there. I don't know if you'll be able, you're really able to see that. But let me tell you something. I would get rid of those snacks. I know I'm not supposed to have them, but I just kind of get a little bit. I will throw them. I'm not going to throw them out. I'll give them away because I am a charitable person. My sister's teeny weeny beeny eeny, so I'll give them to her. Um, or whatever. So I'll give all my little snack snacks to my sister. And I will continue to drink this. I have like a whole bunch of those chocolate, the chocolate kind of my favorite. Cause I'm serious about this. Like next month, that is like Oh my God. Y'all pray for me because I'm like on a high right now. I'm so happy. Like, I pray to God I don't get no more bad news because my look stream right now is like bam, 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 bam. Oh my God. 
I never felt so alive. Like, I feel good. This is like the best news I've had all day. Y'all pray for me because I'm happy right now. I'm like, oh my God. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Remember when I said that um, I didn't know which surgery I wanted to have? If it was gastric bypass or the sleeve. And I told you guys that the insurance here in the States only pays for gastric bypass. Well, what she told me, which I already knew this, I'm high risk. So me getting gastric bypass will be dangerous because I could have more complications and I could have a longer recovery um, because of everything. She said it would be, and plus my age, y'all, I'm 20 years old. I just turned 20, so I was like 19, not too long ago. Um, But yeah, she told me that if I have the sleeve, which that's the most popular is right now anyway, um, I would be, it would be better for me to have the sleeve because it's reversible i heard and it's just in better all experience because i'm young and i can still bear children if i want to have kids and i don't you know won't be high risk or whatever but when i do go to to um i think they're in san diego and or tijuana or something like that um i love i've always wanted to go to mexico so i'm happy i'm excited oh my gosh <laughs> um <clears throat> I don't want to like get stuck over there <clears throat> because I picked the wrong surgery. Well, she said he doesn't. One of the doctors who does the high risk patients, he doesn't even do that surgery on on a heavier people because it's it's just too risky. And you know, I I like the fact that someone would say no and not just do something for some money. They literally would say, "Hey, no, 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 no." And so I'm excited. Um, as soon as I leave for surgery and come back, of course, I'm have to, they're, they're going to be talking with my primary doctor. Um, and then I'm going to get set up with a bariatric doctor here, which is most likely the one I was going to go with. So you can just kind of keep check on me while I'm here in the States, of course, because I can't be going back and forth to Tijuana. So I'm excited. This is so exciting. I should have like... But, you know, like I told my grandmother, if I do get accepted um, with insurance on the 25th, I'm, of course, I'm going to go ahead and go with my insurance because it's paying for it. And I'll just use my care credit for skin surgery, like I said. But this is another, this is plan B. This isn't plan A, this is plan B. So, I'm 360 pounds, I'm 20 years old. When I was sleeping um, a couple of days ago, I stopped breathing like seven times. This is serious. Like, on, on a serious note, this is serious. It's not a game. If I have to go on medical leave from school, I'll do it because I would rather be healthy and be happy because, like, right now I'm out of breath and I ain't done nothing. So, it it gets tough. It's serious. And I'm ready for a change. I'm ready to, to get my life back and I'm ready to be a different person. I'm ready to be the person I know I am inside. So I'm excited and I'm happy. And I will talk to you guys later with some more information. I just have to tell y'all this. Okay, bye.